Hey guys, this video contains an exercise on life cycle costing. So what are life cycle costs? These are the costs that incur over the entire life cycle of the product. So let's look at an example. In this exercise, we need to calculate the cost per unit for the product life cycle. So we have product A, which has year one and year two as a total life cycle. And these are the five costs that incurred over the entire life cycle of product A. The units produced and sold are 500 for year one and year two is 1000. So let's begin. So the first step is to calculate the research and development costs. What we're going to do is take the year one cost of 800 plus 200 of the year two cost to get a total research and development cost of $1,000. Next step is to calculate the production cost. In the exercise, we have been given that the production cost is based on per unit. So what we're going to be doing is take the year one production cost per unit and multiply it with the units produced and sold for both years. So the production cost is 200 cost times the units produced 500. 200 times 500 plus the unit cost for year two is $100 per unit. Multiply with the units produced for year two is 1000. So 100 times 1000 units equals to a total production cost of 200,000 units. Next, we need to calculate the customer service cost. This cost is also based on units. So what we would do is take year one $80 cost, multiply with the units produced and sold for which is 500, so 80 times 500 units plus for year two, it's 70 cost per unit, customer service cost per unit, 70, and you multiply with the units produced and sold of 1,000 units. So 70 times 1,000 units to get a total customer service cost of 110,000. Next step is to calculate the advertising and promotion. For year one, the advertising and promotion cost is 300, and for year two, it's 250. So 300 plus 250 gives a total cost of 550. Next, we need to calculate the retirement cost. It's basically a disposal cost, which is $500. So you would take 500 as a retirement cost. So the total life cycle cost is 312,050, which is basically you add all the cost that we just calculated. Last step is to get the cost per unit, which can be calculated by taking the total life cycle cost of 312,050 and you divide it with the units produced. So basically, we produce 501,000 units produced and sold together, which is 500 plus 1,000 gives up 1,500 total units. So you do 312,050, you divide. 1500 of units produced to get a total cost per unit of $208.03.